There are so many different antivirus providers on the internet promising to get rid of malware and secure your device. But which is the top antivirus? Well, the best way to find out is to compare industry leaders. And yeah, I've heard your comments. In today's video, we'll be comparing Bitdefender versus Norton versus Malwarebytes versus Avast. Okay, first I wanna check the general consensus of all these antiviruses. So let's take a look at independent testing reports. Now there are currently two biggest companies that do this, AV test and AV comparatives. They do slightly different things, so it's good to cover them both. Let's start with the AV test. They judge three categories, protection, performance, and usability. Avast and Bitdefender scored perfectly in all three categories. Norton got a slightly lower mark in performance and Malwarebytes was slightly lacking in protection. AV comparatives looked at online and offline detection rates and false positives, and two of these antiviruses got the highest advanced plus title. Norton had just an advanced award because it identified a few more false positives. Strangely, there are no AV comparative tests on Malwarebytes, I don't know the reason for this. So anyway, after looking at all of this data, it seems like all four antivirus providers are leading the market and will give you great protection. But that's pretty much what other people say, and we can't rely just on other people's work, so let's run some tests of our own. My test setup is quite simple. First, I disable real-time protection on every antivirus. I do that since we want to see how well these programs can find malware already on the device. So for that, I added 10 malware files and ran a full scan. Avast did the best in this regard, catching nine out of 10 files. The scan itself was surprisingly light on my system, using only around 30 to 40% of my CPU and taking around 10 minutes. So overall impressive results. Norton and Bitdefender caught eight out of 10 files. Malwarebytes was a bit of an exception because it only found seven files while the scan took the longest, nearly half an hour. And it also used all of my CPU. Yeah, Malwarebytes is very taxing on the system, yet their detection rate is a bit lower. Hmm. Both Norton and Bitdefender used around 60% CPU and were finished in less than 10 minutes. If we add everything up, well, it seems like all four competitors offer similar top class security. All right, if testing results are enough for you to pick your antivirus, let me remind you that I always put the latest discounts in the description. You can also scan this QR code to quickly access all the best antivirus deals. A lot of companies nowadays are moving toward becoming full on security suites, not just fighting malware. The best example of this is that every single one of these antiviruses has some sort of bundle with an in-house built VPN. And some go way further than just VPN, like Norton. You get the standard protection against malware, spyware, and ransomware. Norton features a smart firewall that monitors the network traffic sent and received on your computer, and you can customize it to your liking. There are also quite versatile parental controls that allow you to create internet usage rules. There's also the Norton Password Manager and Dark Web Monitoring Tool. You even get encrypted storage space to safe keep your most important files, so Norton packs a lot of extra. And looking at the opposite of Norton, Malwarebytes offers real-time protection that includes blocking infected websites and malware, ransomware, as well as exploit mitigation. Exploit protection is especially interesting. It's an advanced security technique that deals with exploit attacks against security flaws. This feature is particularly important as it provides an additional layer of security against potential unknown threats. Malwarebytes also offers a browser guard extension for blocking ads, trackers, and more. And that's it. So there are a lot of security features, but not many tools you get to use. No firewall, no parental controls or data breach scanner, and no password manager. You do get a decent, albeit basic VPN with more expensive plans, but we'll talk about the value of that when we get to pricing. Bitdefender falls in between Norton and Malwarebytes. It offers real-time protection through its Bitdefender shield, includes an anti-phishing feature, and has an anti-spam tool to actively protect your email channels. Apart from these main security aspects, you get a lot of tools to improve your device performance. From junk cleaning to Bitdefender Photon, an exclusive technology that helps this antivirus to adapt to your system's resources and work more efficiently. There's also a file shredder if you really need to delete something. 
Just as with all providers before, there is a VPN included with Bitdefender plans. However, with the cheaper option, there is a tight limit on its use. So if you really want a VPN, you'll need to go with all-in-one plans. They also add a password manager, which is always a nice addition to have. To end this section with a Vast review, it provides real-time protection along with an impressive email shield feature that alerts you about unsafe websites, blocks suspicious downloads, and prevents dangerous email attachments. It also includes a ransomware shield to protect your files and photos from these types of attacks. That's sort of it for the main antivirus subscription. If you decide to go with Avast 1, you can get a VPN, device optimization tools, and a password audit feature. But Avast is on the more minimal side with extra features. So overall, all four providers do a bit more than just clean your device and stop malware. Norton has a lot of features and tools, but you need to decide whether you need them, or maybe you want to go with Malwarebytes' minimal, just an antivirus approach. All right, moving on to ease of use. I can tell you right now that no provider here does anything bad. They all are modern and the overall controls are smooth, but there are some caveats. For example, if you look at Norton Dashboard itself, it is clean and simple. It is a polished and professional interface that's maybe a bit too professional. Norton has a lot of settings, lots for you to customize and mess with. That naturally creates a learning curve that might not be what you're looking for. I love how much I can adapt Norton to my needs, but to be fair, I have two small gripes. One, Norton keeps opening new windows for most of its tools, and it's not difficult for your screen to become cluttered. Two, Norton's interface makes quite poor use of screen real estate, with the bulk of its dashboard taken up by a wallpaper image and a lot of white space. So if Norton seems like a bit too much for you, Avast should be right up your alley. It has a user-friendly interface that alerts me about any threat to my device, and I like that there are large icons. Overall, everything is a bit simplified compared to Norton's UI. In some places, it can feel a bit too simplified. There's a bit of wasted space where an explanation should go, but other than that, it works great. Malwarebytes offers probably the most minimalistic interface. It's basic and intuitive, but I personally don't really like it. It doesn't feel well designed or modern and navigation can be a bit confusing at times. Compared to other antivirus on this list, there are not a lot of settings or tools here to use. For some users, that can feel like a limitation and to others as a plus. Bitdefender probably has my favorite approach to controls. It offers light and black colored flat user interfaces that match well with Windows and modern design trends. It's attractive and nicely laid out with a large banner showing protection status and smaller modules for specific security areas. It's not as minimalistic as Malwarebytes, but it also has better navigation than Norton. Now, I will say that there are a lot of features and it can be a bit daunting, but most tools and settings have useful explanations. So overall, all four antiviruses are great at ease of use and have their own little strengths and weaknesses. Both Bitdefender and Avast offer modern, straightforward user interfaces. Malwarebytes is the most minimalistic approach, while Norton can be more attractive to advanced users. All right, let's start discussing the price with the cheapest of these, Bitdefender. Well, okay, not technically the cheapest because three out of the four antiviruses on this list have free versions and Bitdefender Free might just be the best one. Even in this version, Bitdefender includes real-time protection, virus scans, and web attack prevention. That's nearly a complete package if you need a quick free fix. I would say go with Bitdefender in that case. As for the premium plan, you can secure one device with multi-layer ransomware protection for under $30 a year. A VPN is also included, but it's extremely limited, so it's not really all that useful. Take note that if you plan to keep using Bitdefender, renewal pricing can be different based on what promotions they're running. It can be higher or lower, so I recommend use my discount and renew your subscription even if it's not over yet. Now, Malwarebytes offers a free plan and a trial version of its premium. The main downside of the free version is that you can scan devices for malware, but it doesn't come with real-time protection. This means that you will have to rely on scheduled scans, which isn't really optimal. Premium plans differ by device limits and the addition of a VPN, and that's basically it. 
So if you don't need a VPN, even the cheapest standard plan will have all that Malwarebytes has to offer. Would I recommend buying plus plans for the VPN? Well, if you like how Malwarebytes works and don't need anything specific, then yeah, but it's on the more limited side. I would suggest grabbing NordVPN or Surfshark instead. Now, I need to note something while we're still on the Malwarebytes review part. It's the only provider that does not have renewal price increases on regular antivirus plans. It's sort of a standard practice to give a big discount for the initial purchase and then return prices to normal once it's time to renew. Well, Malwarebytes, doesn't do that. And even if you get a two year subscription, the price will always be the same. Well now, Avast is actually an interesting case. You can see it has the regular free and premium antivirus versions as you'd expect. There's also a free version of Avast One, an all-in-one privacy and security suite. Both of these free tools are quite impressive, giving you real-time protection, app monitoring, and even a firewall but I would recommend going with the one version since it has more tools, including device optimizations. Now the cheapest Avast Premium goes for around $50 a year, which has all security aspects, but no extra features. Also, maybe check out the Avast One Premium plan with my discount link. You can get the price slashed in half. So for a similar price as the premium antivirus, you can protect up to five devices, use a VPN without limitations, and do password audits. So basically a full cybersecurity suite. Now Norton is the only provider in today's comparison that doesn't have a full free version. However, there is a 14 day trial that you can get to try out all the features. Now, if we compare the cheapest Norton plan to the other antiviruses, it packs an impressive features list. It only allows for use on one device, but you get two gigabytes cloud backup storage and a password manager. The Norton 360 Deluxe plan holds the best value. It ups the storage space to an impressive 50 gigabytes, allowing you to use Norton VPN, password manager, dark web monitoring, and offers parental controls. You can use this antivirus on five devices with this option. Now it does have a renewal pricing increase, you can see it here, but Norton offers an extensive 60 day money back guarantee so you can fully try this antivirus before finally committing. Now, before we wrap this up, if you want to see a full Norton 360 review or a more in-depth Bitdefender review, subscribe to the Cyber News YouTube channel and stay updated. All right, that's it. I can confidently say that no matter which of these four antivirus providers you choose, you're going to get the best protection on the market. So pick the one that fits your needs the best. For me personally, even with small hiccups, Bitdefender is the one I would use on a daily basis. All right, well, thanks for watching this video to the very end. All right. Oh, by the way, which antivirus is best in your book and what antivirus comparison should I do next? Leave a comment down below and let's have a chat. And don't forget to check out my discount links in the description to get the best deal possible. All right, see y'all later.